what I have here is simply a solid. I just shrinked it a bit so that you can see it better on the black background. And I have applied the flow motion effect to it and I have sucked it into the middle. Then I have applied another flow motion effect and bended it outwards, as you can see here. And as a third effect, I have applied the ramp effect just to get a bit color into it. Then I have pre-composed all of this, duplicated it, duplicated it once again, and changed the blending mode to screen. And I have pre-composed this once again, and duplicated it also once again. And as you can see, you have in less than 20 seconds a nice looking flower for your project. And if you think now, hmm, I want to have more flowers, different looking flowers, I need a bunch of flowers for my next project, let me quickly show you how you can randomize those flowers in a really fast way, also with the flow motion effect. So what I have here, I have already applied the flow motion effect to both of those flowers. And if I now click on it, you can see that I have it nearly at the center. And if I now just play with the amount, you can see that you directly get different looking flowers out of it. And as I have two of them, it's also more individual. So you can make a bunch of different looking flowers.